Good morning friends! Thank you so much for joining me this morning. As you perhaps can see, I have just hopped out of the shower, got ready for the day, come into my kitchen, and I'm looking for a cup of coffee, as probably most of us do in the morning. So this morning I wanted to share with you guys how I make coffee house coffee, fancy coffee, at home, with no machine, and a for a fraction of the price of what you can get coffee for. I did want to just say thank you to those of you who have already subscribed to my channel. It's so kind of you. I really appreciate it. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider. My husband and I really enjoy a good coffee. We both enjoy a latte or a cappuccino or something along those lines. And we previously were spending quite a bit of money going out to coffee houses. And last summer, while we were on holiday, my aunt, my Aunt Laura, she showed me this method of making coffee, and I tell you, we have saved so much money. <laughs> I think we've probably gone out for coffee maybe three or four times in the past year, and that was special coffee dates that we went out to together, and it wasn't just, oh, I've got the craving for coffee. We really made it an event. But when I've got the craving for coffee, on Saturday morning or whenever, I can make my own latte, my own cappuccino at home now. So you do need a couple of special, shall we call them tools, to make this, but you don't need an expensive machine. First thing you need is obviously something to make coffee. And you need a strong coffee, an espresso. So I use this Italian espresso pot. Um, this one makes two shots. So, which is perfect for us, because usually I don't make coffee like a latte just for myself. I'll make one for me and my husband. You will need, well, somewhere to heat up your milk, so I just use a small pan. And then if you are doing, obviously, a milky drink, you'll need somewhere to, or something to foam your milk. So you can buy a proper milk foamer that looks almost exactly the same as this, or you can buy a French press, which is usually a bit cheaper and a lot easier to find. Um, the only difference with the French press, this is a French press, to a milk foamer is that a milk foamer would actually be able to go all the way to the bottom. The French press can't because it's meant to press down the coffee and leave a bit of space. So that's the only difference, but particularly when I'm making two coffees this time, the French press works great, so I will show you how this works later. And I do want to just point out, these two items, I found at Winners, I've also seen them at Marshalls, <clears throat> and I spent a total of $20 on these two items. So that is a pretty good price. They paid for themselves in like a month. <coughs> Beyond that, you're gonna need coffee. Please, please, buy yourself some good coffee. Preferably espresso ground, but it doesn't have to be. You can still make a pretty good coffee. <clears throat> and you can buy it with flavoring, or you can flavor it afterwards. I prefer to flavor it afterwards. And on that note, I have a few different suggestions for flavorings. This is Sebastiano's Naturally Flavored Gourmet Syrups. And I just recently got this flavor, Madagascar Vanilla. Again, I actually buy this at Winners. And of course, some other suggestions would be some Baileys. I've got a mini bottle of Baileys here. My husband really enjoys that in his coffee. Or you can just put some maple syrup in if you just would like a little bit of flavor and a bit sweeter. You know, you don't have to buy like a special syrup to make a lovely coffee. You can even just have it plain. It, it's still good. It's still really good. But those are kind of our top flavorings. Oh, and I should say this one we get in all different flavors. Right now, this is the one I have, but we've gotten it in caramel and hazelnut. Like, you can get lots of different flavors in this brand, and they're all really good. You'll need some kind of milk. I always use whole milk, but you know, almond milk, I've tried almond milk. I think I also tried cashew milk once. Works really good for a nice foamy drink.
So here on my stove top, I've got my coffee going and my milk. I do it on one burner. You can do it on two if you find that easier. I want my milk to be hot, but not boiling. And it's almost ready there. And also, I'll just wait for my coffee. It is on high, so it doesn't take very long. Once the milk is hot, I pour it into my French press and use the plunger to essentially pump up and down in the milk until I get lots of foam. The more foam, the better, in my opinion. Now I'm just assembling the coffees, flavoring if desired first, then I pour in the espresso shot, and then I add the foamed milk last. you may have noticed that my proportions aren't really exact like a cappuccino or a latte or anything like that honestly that's part of the thing that I love about making my own coffee at home and that is I can make it the way that I prefer it's taken me a while to find exactly how I like it and this is essentially my favorite lots of foam and then a pretty milky coffee too um, but my husband does enjoy it with a little bit less milk than I do, and I just make it a bit different. But, if you're interested, I will post on my Facebook a graphic that I have used kind of to use as a base of proportions for different drinks, for lattes, for cappuccinos, mo mochas, americano. You can also make an americano with, you know, that kind of espresso maker. It doesn't always have to be a milky drink. So, enjoy your coffee and have a good morning. 